Welcome to Zanewood STEAM Fest. My name is Mrs. Quiddick. I'm currently a first grade teacher here at Zanewood, and thanks for joining us this evening. You will need your DIY STEAM Boat Craft Kit to get started. So grab out your craft kit. I just kind of set all of my materials out, spread them out in front of me as we begin building our boat. And I first like to think, where have I seen a boat before? Have you been on a boat? Have you seen a boat from afar out on a lake? And so we're gonna be creating our own boat together and I'm so excited. Let's get started. We're first gonna start with our base of the boat. So if you wanna hold each part with me, you're more than welcome. And the first step to our boat, the base of the boat, is to put in our rudder. And our rudder steers the boat. It's very, very, very important to have a rudder, to have your boat go certain directions. So this first part is you're going to just stick in the rudder on the bottom of the boat and your styrofoam should pop out just like this and this really secures your rudder so your boat can steer. So just like me, if you want to poke your rudder in the bottom, this allows your boat to steer when you submerge it into water. So step one is our rudder and what does that do? That steers our boat. Next, we're going to be adding some sails to our steamboat. And has anyone seen a sail before? I'm thinking about my past experiences with boats. I've seen sails that are big and they're white and when it's windy, it, it guides the boat all along the water. So with your sails, you can really choose to customize your boat in any type of way. You can choose the big sails that are nice and big and tall or you could choose the smaller sails that are a little bit of a baby size. So again, this is your boat. You can create and try different sails to make your boat unique. So I'm gonna go with the big sail and I'm gonna put it in the back. And so I'm gonna find one of my holes and I'm gonna stick my sail in. So I'm looking at my sail and it's looking pretty good. But I think my sail is missing something. It is missing my white cloth. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna poke my, my stick in, I'm gonna guide it up, and then I'm gonna poke my stick at the top, making the sail nice and round so it can guide my boat no matter the wind. And this is your completed sail when you have your, your sail kind of bent in between, and you're gonna stick your sail in, and it's already looking like a boat. It's looking amazing. And one more example that I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a baby sail and I'm gonna put this in the front. So again, you can do whatever you like with your boat. This is your unique steam boat that we're excited to have you try out at home. So with your baby sail, I might pick out this tiny little guy and stick the hole in. I bend it up and I stick it through. You might need an adult to help you with this step. But once you got it, I know you're gonna be fantastic. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick him in the front. My boat is looking awesome. I encourage you to try different combinations of your sails. You could try it in the front, in the back, really make this boat your own. And then to finish it off, you can color your boat and try this at home with water. You could fill up your tub or your sink and have fun guiding your boat and seeing what direction the rudder is going to steer your steamboat. Thanks for joining me for the steam activity. I hope you had a lot of fun.